let's have a look at using arrays. Arrays are very powerful for getting duplicate copies of your meshes lined out at a certain interval much easier than uh, doing a shift D for duplicate object. For example, if I wanted to have four copies of this cube, all I would need to do would be to select the cube, then add modifier for array, and then go for four copies of it. As you can see from the relative offset, there's a one here on the x-axis and a zero on the y-axis and a zero on the z-axis. And these determine what is the amount of space to use as the uh, offset for the new copies. If I start incrementing this, I can get them um, settled in any distance from the original as I want to. I usually use 1.1 for 40 uh, copies. Now, if I go here and I start incrementing this, you can see that the blocks are being moved at a certain relative offset in, in two dimensions now. And if I go this way, I can make it like three dimensions. And this would be nice, of course, if I was making a set of stairs or something like that. But for now, I'll just make it zero here and zero here. Because there's also another thing you can do, which is to add another modifier to get a second copy of, of this stuff here. And then you usually go for the y-axis instead of the z-axis, uh, x-axis here. So I'll just so go add modifier, array, and now you can see how the modifier stack is beginning to form. There's one modifier here and then another modifier here. And I'll do the same four copies. Instead of going 1.1 here, I'll go 1.1 here. And this will make me a nice set of, uh, of blocks. Now, if I wanted to make this uh, final, I could apply the modifier, but I want to make the third modifier for this as well, so I'll just add modifier array 0 here and 1.1 here, and then with four copies of it. And now you have a perfectly aligned set of uh, 64 cubes and you're using the relative offset here. You could also use the constant offset which would add a um, just a certain distance between the items that would be set by you and it would not be relative to the original copies. It's not relative to the object's bounding box. You can also merge things if you want to get um, uh, for example a a tube that is formed in a certain way, you can ask Blender to merge the copies. And you can also use an object offset in case you want to have, for example, an empty object that is placed in a certain place. You can use this as the object offset for that. And this is for um, adding end pieces to your uh, array. I'll show that in a moment. But uh, the first array is for the x-axis, so if you take that off, you can see that it's only now on the uh, y and the z-axis. And if you take this one off, it's only for the x and the z. And if you take this one off, it's only for this. So you can, you can always check to see what your um, final mesh is going to look like. Now, if I go here and I apply this uh, modifier and... oh. See what it says here. Applied modifier was not first. Result may not be expected. You should always try to apply from the top. Apply, apply, and apply. And now what we have here is a mesh with this many cubes in it. Making this, of course, is possible by using the Shift D and duplicate object, but that's very much more uh, complicated than this one. So this is the basic use of the array modifiers.